Welcome back. Looking at comments, uh, you know, the Jason Show fan club does an online chat every day live during our show. It's like a running report card of how Ted, Jeff, and I are doing. Either pass or fail, right, Ted? Uh, uh, people are talking about the, the carpet in the bathroom. I stand corrected. I was alive in the 80s, but uh, uh, Cindy, Penny, Nancy, everyone had carpet in their bathrooms in the 80s. I, I had never heard of anything. I don't know. We're going to have to do some investigation. There's a dating show on Netflix you may not have heard about. It's called Dating Around, and season two dropped a couple months ago, actually. And it's not exactly a new concept, but a resident dating show expert loves it. And that means it's time for America Loves Ted. Joining us from a safe 34 feet away from me across the studio is producer Ted Johnson. Good morning, Ted. Good morning. If Jeff was here, I would give you the Sheila Oliver fake applause. Do we have it? There we go. Ted Johnson, everyone. Our uh, fake sound effect named after our general manager, uh, Sheila Oliver. Okay, dating around, what, what's this about? So we have one single who goes on a date with five different people, and they s sort of string it together. It kind of all flows together each date. You know, we have drinks, and it kind of splits us up into different dates. So, so we don't do one date at a time. We kind of do them all at the same time. With, okay, so, but you're dating five different people. Five different people. So like, let's talk hypothetically. Let's say you were on the show. So you would be in this place and you would go date like five different women. In the same place, five different women. And we would have similar conversations, but it would be edited together, all the different women. All the different women. Got it. And it's, it's shot really well. It's an interesting idea. The people, you root for the people. They're different ages. They're, you know, gay people, which we don't see a lot of. No, not on these dating shows, you no, don't. No. We date two, everybody. We date two. Diff oh, you, there was an older person there. Well, look at that. Yeah. So well, it's it's highly recommended. Season okay. two. Yeah. In the recipe of all of these shows, whether it's Bachelor, Bachelor Nation, Bachelor in Paradise, whatever, Love Connection, there's always a villain. You know, there's always a recipe. And in the recipe, there's always a villain. However, are there actual likable people on this show? Very likable people. And you find yourself rooting for certain people or certain people, you know, several people, and you're like, ah, oh, who's she going to choose? But there are also jerks. Yeah. You know, like every reality show. But it, they do push back, and sometimes they do kick them out. So. They, oh, they kicked, oh. Yeah, so you yeah. Can if, kick they've, if they've had enough of the person, they're like, yeah, I think this date's over. Are the villains villains because they're just, you know, uh, uh, yeah, they're you know what I'm going to say. They're just not good people. They're just, okay. Yeah. That's all we really need yeah. to say on that. Okay, now we've been teasing this, and usually I'm the one that uh, speaks in hyperbole and dr uh, dramatic adjectives and goes on and on about something. But Ted came in today, and then Jeff said, Ted means this. You are telling us that you witnessed, let me read this, the most awkward date of all time on television. The, from start to finish, I was like, and then I was texting my friends, and I'm like, you have to watch this. Here's why. Yeah. Let's just, Leo, let's just roll it. I'm not 100% sure what kind of flowers those are. I think they might be chrysanthemums. <laughs> so you bought me something you don't know what it is? No, I'm just <laughs> it's Only the finest. Have you ever been here? Before? I haven't. I have not either. It's going to be a great experience. It's going to be where we, we don't know the flowers, we don't know the restaurant, the restaurant, we don't know each other. I actually have a... Uh, Two homes, so I. You like, have two homes. Well, like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah because I, so yeah. I go back and forth, um, because um, I have children. Yeah. Cool. I have two boys. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, um, uh, do you have any children? Uh, I do not. No. 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 Do you uh, want kids? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 With your career path, like, so, is that in it? So, man. Okay. Um, I, like, like the short answer is yes. <laughs> oh, the whole thing is like that. And that not just one dater, but all five of them. Uh, I, I, my favorite moment and we can recreate it. Uh, I have kids. <laughs> great. 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 As he says through gritted teeth. Great. Oh, that's cool. I think he said cool. Yeah. Cool. cool. Cool, I, you know. And then like the waiter would come over and they'd be like, okay, do you guys want to go to your table? And he'd be like, oh, 
uh, 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 does, sure. So does the, do you have to sit in that agony? Do, does Netflix make you watch most of that date or is it pretty short? Well, so that was just one, one of the daters. So there's four other women that we cut back and forth to. With that same guy. Oh, that same guy. And that's how he really talks? I have to ask that. Oh, yeah. Okay. And you're just like, you're watching this and you're like, this isn't real. This isn't real. So if people want to watch, you know, you can skip the other episodes. Ben. It's season two, episode Ben. Write this down. Right. Episode Ben. Episode of, Ben. And here's, here's the thing. Some of the women, you're just like, like this woman right here. He has no chance with her. But by the end, you're like, he was down for the count like five times. And he's like fighting his way back and he's not out of it. So this, this is, if you're going to watch one episode of this ridiculous series, this, the Ben episode is the one to watch. <laughs> yeah. So what usually happens, because you know the end of The Bachelor, uh, it's the Rose thing. You know, we showed uh, Survivor the, that you put out the torch. What yep. usually, do they just end and cut to black or what? what, what so what? sometimes they will go out to, you know, get a drink after dinner. And then after the night's over, then we, you know, give them a couple of days and then they're off in a park. And then the, whoever gets the second date shows up. And that's it. And that's it. So we don't actually know if they end up together, but we know someone gets a second date. Can I uh, guess that at the end, spoiler alert, the young lady in that clip, uh, there was not a second date with Ben. Am I pretty? I don't know. Wow. Okay. It's called what? Dating Around? Dating Around on Netflix. Seasons one and two. Okay. Give it up for producer Ted. Go ahead and fire off the fake applause. There we go. And as I said, Dating Around is available right now on Netflix. Still ahead, everyone. Local HDTV stars Brad and Heather Fox are back. What they're working on now and how you can make small changes to your house. We'll be right back. Stay with us.